With the arrival of The Walking Dead Season 8, we are being thrown into an all-out war between Team Rick and Team Negan. Obviously, with war will come some casualties, so we've developed a list of the eight Walking Dead characters most likely to die in Season 8. Sorry Morgan fans, but we gotta start with this guy. People love Morgan as he was Rick's first ally. Well, he gave up his whole no-killing thing at the back half of Season 7, and when characters change an aspect of themselves that made them a survivor, it's never a good sign. Fingers on the trigger. Next, let's talk about Eric. He and Aaron brought Rick's crew into Alexandria. If one rides into battle, the other surely will as well, and given that Aaron is the more important character, we foresee Eric being the one to go. Tough break, dude, sorry. Death list entry number three is Jadis. She arrived without any ties to any other characters, interestingly enough, and while she doesn't have an expansive allegiance to Negan, she did try to use Rick to obtain weapons, which will make her a target in season eight. She also straight up told Michonne that she was gonna sleep with her man, so come on. I lay with him after. Next, we have Gregory. He took off in shame after his leadership was ridiculed in Season 7, and he's probably going to try to save the hilltop by making a deal with the Saviors. He's a coward, he's not liked, he has it coming. Saviors can actually be quite reasonable. <laughs> Terra first came into play with the governor and then stuck around to offer Glenn some standalone assistance. She tagged along with Abraham's group and seemed to be officially indoctrinated into Team Family. So she is important, she is a well-liked character, but enough to survive an all-out war? Unlikely. Okay. Next we have Jared. This dude straight up sucks. He's basically a bully to everyone, and given that we can't guarantee all of the big bads will bite the dust, we can assume that all viewers will get some sweet relief when this guy goes. Rat face prick. Next on our list is Father Gabriel. Look, he's come a long way. He started out as a cowardly threat to Rick's leadership, but now he's become a pretty effective member of the team and a pretty enjoyable character. He's a fighter now, that's great. But this guy in a war, we're just not so sure. You are creepy as shit. And finally, the moment you've been dreading, our final prediction is Daryl. Look, people have been saying it for years. They better not kill off Daryl. They better not kill off Daryl. No matter how close he gets, he always manages to end the season alive. Well, it's never been more dangerous for Daryl than it is right now. He already had to stay in hiding after escaping from the dog food sanctuary, and we know there's a whole team of villains who want his head. It's a bold prediction, but you know it's very, very possible. Let me process this. Well, there you have it, folks. Our predictions for the season Season 8 Walking Dead deaths. We're not guaranteeing anything, of course, but we're confident that a large chunk of these will come to fruition. Let us know in the comments what you think, and of course, make sure and click subscribe for more videos just like this.